you believed him, you see. If Bill said a, said a line, it could be, uh, you believed him. Time! Danny, hey, Danny, you all right? Oh. When I was put under contract to Columbia, Bill was put under contract at that same time, and Mr. Cohen, the president of Columbia Studios. If Bill, he said, gives me any trouble, why, you'll do the job. If you give me any trouble, Bill will do the job. So they tried to, he tried to play, use us to uh, compete. Hey, you feel all right? Yeah. That 50 bucks makes everything all right. Yeah. Danny? Yeah? We uh, haven't got that 50 bucks. What? Well, I, I bet it on Dutch Henry. You what? You, you what? But we didn't compete. The more they tried to make us compete, the more closer we became as friends. We gotta separate. Separate? Yeah, it's our only chance. I'll catch up with you someday. Texas ain't that big. Well, you ain't much to look at, but I'm sure gonna miss you. I ain't forgetting you either. Good luck, fella. Take care of yourself, Danny. I don't think either Bill or I really knew how to act. All we knew how to do was be ourselves. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's good. Harry Cohen found out that Bill and I were uh, getting into a little bit of trouble that we shouldn't get into with the certain ladies. And so Harry uh, went up to the place called the Chateau Marmont up on Sunset Boulevard there, and he, he rented, uh, Columbia Studios, that is, rented the one of the penthouse, the penthouse, the nice one, uh, suite. And he called Bill and I in, and he said, now, if you two guys are going to get into trouble, I want to have some control over it. So when you decide to get into trouble, use the apartment at the Marmont. Here's the keys. So um, Bill and I... Uh, use the apartment. The statement of Bill's life was his work. He never did a bad job. 